Hi everyone. Uh, I'd like to analyze completely new trend, uh, food protectionism. Some uh, protectionist moves uh, uh, are seen in the Black Sea, the uh, latest sample of Romania. But uh, uh, what is the background for these uh, limits, for this uh, protectionism? For, for Ukraine, the background is very nice, even excellent. Ukrainian export in the current season uh, is within the initial numbers and uh, even slightly higher in spite of all uh, moves, in spite of all uh, limitations. By early April, total grain export hit 44 million. This is record high export, never seen for the nine months of any previous season. High export, is it good or bad? Now, uh, the uh, 2020 uh, grain production in Ukraine, in Russia, is much more important uh, for the supply side. Uh, dry weather continues, but uh, so far nothing uh, critical for, uh, for the 72-73 grain uh, harvest in Ukraine with 44-45 million ton export for the next season. Similar situation is for Russia. Uh, anyway, we keep an eye on uh, weather news constantly. Another point of the supply side is uh, how to make use of possible export shrinking from other origins. So now it is so essential, so important to stabilize Ukrainian grain export share in the global market. And uh, not only stabilize, but uh, to use uh, the chance to expand this share in the uh, global uh, grain markets. No limits are needed uh, to hit this uh, goal. No, no doubt uh, supply from the Black Sea region will be quite sufficient for the next season. No any shocks. A market shock uh, might be uh, in the demand side. The drop in global demand is a sad and unpleasant reality. The problem, how much money uh, will be on the demand side, is not possible to overestimate. I suppose the uh, problem, how much buyers will be ready to pay for grain, will certainly peak uh, given uh, the situation in the target markets, in the key markets for Ukrainian grain. Actually, all biggest importers of uh, Ukrainian commodities face decline in uh, their GDP, declining incomes made uh, customers hardly able to buy as much as previously, even comparatively cheap Chinese goods. Uh, so I guess uh, the current hike in, uh, in the wheat prices is short term, maybe three, four months. After that, competition increases, plus uh, lower customers' income will result in impressive price correction. So, uh, lower uh, revenues and uh, declining profits and uncertainty in, in grain production next year, in 2021, uh, this is uh, the most important problems, not the current uh, uh, three, five, seven months. So, thank you very much for your attention. I uh, wish you a healthy social distancing.